Yesterday, Police Minister Natim Tetwa stunned Parliament when he announced the redeployment of the crime intelligence bus. It came on the back of a series of allegations leveled against Mzluli. Last year, he faced fraud and corruption charges, subsequently dropped. His reinstatement earlier this year provoked a storm of protest. Since then, he's been accused of stripping secret slush funds and appointing family members as secret agents. Today, State Security Minister Siabonga Kwele said they were monitoring developments. Some of the investigations are still being conducted by the Inspector General. And uh, yesterday, the minister announced this uh, task team to look at some of the recent allegations. And we will do, once again, do the assessment after we receive information from those reports. The Institute for State Security said conspiracy theories within SAPS had spawned a lot of tension. It said this had a wider impact on the criminal justice system. The ISS questioned why investigations into Mzluli by police and the NPA had been blocked and also questioned Mzluli's redeployment. Why isn't he suspended? That is the normal procedure, the normal practice in the South African police service. If you face serious allegations of this nature, you are suspended until the allegations against you are properly investigated. A call echoed by some opposition parties. He has been moved yesterday. I want to ask why not suspend it. You know, the problem is if you try to cut off a dog style, you do it once, not bit by bit. Police Minister Natim Tetwa said today that he would await the finalization of the investigation by the Inspector General of Intelligence. The Office of the Inspector General, meanwhile, refused to say when its investigations into General Mzluli will be concluded. Lukana Kalata, SABC News, Parliament.